In this video, I'm gonna share with you the power of what I call the proficiency check. M0A Nation, what is happening? Jason Shepard here of the M0A Online Ground School. In this video, diving into something I call the power of the proficiency check. Before we do that, please make sure you subscribe here on YouTube, thumbs up here on Facebook that you follow us for more amazing aviation content there as well. We also have a great Instagram one you to follow us on as well. In this video, I had a really unique opportunity. You know I don't take on any students uh, any more than flying with the M08 team, and this one counts as basically flying with the M08 team. I got to do a proficiency check last week, and it wasn't one that I sought out. They sought me out. I had the opportunity to fly with Stacy West, who some of you have met. She is the wife of Keith West. Keith is one of our partners in the Rex Air Flight School in Naples, that Rex Air investment down there. We got to take old Kilo Whiskey, a G1172 up flying, and do this proficiency check. Now, why did I add this video to Mock Check Ride May? Well, because a proficiency check and a mock check ride kind of go hand in hand. It just depends where you are in your flying. If it's before your certificated pilot, call it a mock check ride. If it's after this, like in Stacy's situation, well, it's a proficiency check. And the cool thing about Stacy, I found, and she and Keith both do this, every quarter they want to fly with somebody different, a different CFI. Well, last quarter she did it with her husband, Keith. This time she said, you know what, I'll ask if Jason will do it for me next quarter. And in addition to her own flying she's doing, every quarter she's going out to get a different perspective, a different voice, a different airplane, by the way. One of the benefits of being a partner in Rex Air too, she's able to jump around to different airplanes as well. And we went out and just worked on the basics. Right here is fine. Okay. All right, you, I show you clear to the right whenever you're ready. Tough with the ocean to start, so really get that right attitude in there. This is excellent. A little bit more bank, a little bit of right rudder, just a touch. The only reason I say that is because, yeah, exactly. Feel the difference, too? Yep. Good, keep it coming around. Climbing on me a little bit. Low, there you go. I know it's so tough with the sun. It'll make sense. Once we come around here, you're doing great. A little bit more bank. A little bit more bank, a little more right rudder, and you'll feel it get coordinated again, just like that. There exactly. We go. Exactly. When it feels like it's dragging like that, we're kind of skidding through that turn. Good yeah. job. Good job. All right, you're keeping it coming around really nicely. Good. Excellent job. Here comes Marco Island. There is South. Roll out, roll out. Excellent, excellent okay. job. Yeah, not too shabby, huh? I climb back up to where I belong. See, that's there you part go. Of my, it, my method to my it, madness. It all worked out well. <laughs> all right. Stacy is a lower time private pilot, fairly recent ish private pilot, not working on instrument, just kind of in that period in between private and instrument. So we went out and did the basics. Steep turns, slow flight, stalls is what we we're working through. And what I'm always looking for is, for a lot of times, the last time these people did steep turn, slow flight stalls, emergency procedures, those types of things, the last time they did them was back on their check ride. So it's good to get back out and get back to some of those basics. All right now, what I'd like you to do is I want you to bring that power back to idle and let's just do a power off stall straight ahead. All right. You're pretty trimmed up, by the way, Lucy. Yeah, good job, good job. All right? All right, power, uh, power off stall. Just, just baby that power on back, hold the nose where it's at, and we're going to stall straight ahead. Do you want to talk about it first and go talk about the recovery, or are you good? Um, so I will uh, power, 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 come back, power all the more, way to idle. All the way to idle. Nose comes up. Yeah. Wait for the horn. Yeah. And then once you hear that, do you want me to wait till it breaks? No, we're going to take it to a full break. We're going to let it break. Okay. We're going to let it fall. When it breaks, we'll smoothly go full power. Power, nose down, ailerons yep. level. Yep, flaps to 20. Flaps to 20. Yep. And then we'll baby out the flaps from there. Okay. Right, whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Okay, ready. Any of right rudder. If you need it, yeah. Just hold the nose right here. It'll st have no problem stalling. Hold it. Hold it. 
it goes. Yeah, that's all. She didn't like stalling a whole lot. No. That's all she had. Good. All right, I like to wait till we build that airspeed back up. Positive rate of climb. Yeah, we got a positive rate of climb. You go and take them up and out. Now, before we did all this, I had a chance to sit down actually uh, with Stacy at Sun and Fun before we before we did this flight. Uh, we were chatting at Sun and Fun. She said, "You know, I, I really struggle with my crosswind landings. I really struggle when it's a little bit bumpy out there." And, and I'm, I'm sure what she shared, you could share as well, because I remember I still struggled with my crosswind landing. I was working on my commercial pilot, and I still struggled with things like crosswind landings. Those things come with time. Well. This was a perfect opportunity to get out there and practice some crosswind landings. Marco Island traffic, Sky 1 to Santa Kilo Whiskey at midfield for left downwind for landing. Marco Island. Okay. All right. And we're just looking for a nice, normal landing. So, being our touchdown point, we'll go power back a little bit. 10 degrees of flaps and work our way in there. All right. Power to 1400. Yeah. Well, nose up trim on nacho flaps. Good. At your speed, yep. Let's call our base, please. Marco traffic, Sky 127 Kilo Whiskey, turning base for 17. Marco. Little slow. There you go, good. Got your 20 degrees of flaps, and I don't know if I'd go much more, honestly, with as windy as it is. Okay. Up it out first and see how it goes. Better so now, let's turn final because it's going to blow you through it, remember. Right, right, right. I'll make a call and drop some power Marco back. Island traffic, one, uh, one, two, seven kilo whiskey, turning final for one, seven, Marco. Baby, some power on that. About six to six, uh, left base, one, seven. That nose coming down, don't worry about him behind us. Feel that drift, there you go, good. You like a little crab in, baby, some power back, push that nose forward. Good, that's the pitch attitude you want to see. Oh, good. Maybe a little more power back, you're right of center. Play back to idle, just about push that nose forward. We're a little high. Back. I'd say it's a little more nine knots, it's a little sporty. You're doing great, I won't let you make a mistake. Right about here, let's transition, take your eyes down that runway, back on that, right here, just, uh, Perfect. A little bit of right pedal, a little bit of left aileron back. Perfect landing. Good job, Stacy. All right. I got your flaps. You focus on flying. Let me get out to 56. Let's go. Final one. Little cr exactly. Didn't touch anything. I just talked you through it. You did an excellent job. No. Thank you. All right. Let's go around and do another one, please. You know, my purpose for this video is not only to give you a different perspective on things, but it's to add another thing to your to-do list. Once a quarter, can you go fly with another flight instructor? Once a quarter, may fly in a different airplane with that flight instructor? Always expand in your horizons. A good pilot is always learning isn't just a catchy marketing slogan. It is truly something to live by. And if you're in that in-between between private and instrument, or maybe you do have a check ride coming up, treat this like it's a mock check ride. If this was a mock check ride, I guarantee you we had done ground reference maneuvers. And when's the last time mock check ride or, or soon to be check ride, uh, people watching this video, when's the last time you did turns around a point, S turns across the road, rectangular pattern? It's probably like hour six or hour seven, right? It was a long time ago, perhaps. You have to get back to the basics. You have to get back to building the strong foundation of what you know how to do and make sure that foundation is truly strong as you get ready to go into that check ride. Pick that nose up just a hair. So you're sinking on me. So I pitch for airspeed, I power for altitude. So if I am too fast, the nose needs to go up a little bit. If I'm losing altitude, I need to give it a little power as you'll see here in a second. There you go. And it looks like you have a death grip over here. Don't forget your trim. I know you're strong, <laughs> but don't forget your trim. Watch your heading. Watch your heading. Yep, yep, yep. swelling. Yep, Low, there you go. Right around here, about 65 is great. Hold it right here. Okay. It's right there, huh? You feel it? Yeah. Good. Over to the right just a little bit. Excellent. A little more power? Yep, you gotta give it some power because we're losing altitude. Good. Give it a little bit more power. 
leave the nose where it's at, just give it a little bit more power. Good. Why do we do slow flight? Practice, uh, you know, landing configuration. You're exactly right, yeah. I mean, these ailerons aren't doing much out there for us, right? The rudder's effective. Tail's effective, but not much else. So that being said, will you give me a left turn heading 120, please? Remember, it's called slow flight for a reason, so just take time getting over there. Baby your way. 120, I got your bug for it. Just baby your ways. No, nowhere in the ACS does it say how fast you have to do it. You take your time. I'd say this is a little steep. Use a little bit of footwork and a little bit of aileron and just nurse your way on over there. You're doing a great job. 120, roll on out. Good. Now I'll take you back to that south heading, please. All right. Once we roll out on a south heading, there you go, good, good, good Good to catch that, by the way, before I mention that, now it's sinking, there you go, perfect. All right, I'm actually going to take us back to the to a 120 again, sorry, it's going to be really tough doing it over the ocean. I don't want spatial disorientation to set in, let's bring it back over this way. Yep, you got to, sometimes you have to add a little bit of power, because that turn you're taking away from that horizontal and vertical component of the left. Straighten out a little bit, that was great. On a heading of 120, I'd like you to now transition to slow flight in the dirty or landing configuration, which means with flaps. So you're basically set up, I'd like you just to bait flaps in 10 degrees at a time okay. and make those adjustments as you have to. Okay. You'll probably have to lower the nose and add power. Good. Here come be go to the next notch. I made sure that we were in the white arc. Good job. Flaps have a tendency to make us climb up. Yeah, there you go. Good. Excellent job. Excellent job. I encourage you to follow Stacy's lead. Can you book your next proficiency check to make all that happen? I know the Rex Air team in Naples will be thrilled if you want to come down do a little beach trip and do the M0A flight experience uh, at Rex Air as well. I'll list some details for getting in touch with the team at Rex Air. Maybe I'll see you around there as well. Tudor Mike Zulu is down there a lot uh, lately as well as we play an active part in this investment. So, hey, we are just so blessed, so thankful for you all. Thanks for making M0A one of the most referred online ground schools. If you've never seen inside the online ground school, you think these YouTube videos are good? Imagine how good the paid stuff is. M0Atrial.com to check it out. You will not regret it. Once again, throw this video a thumbs up, uh, a subscribe, a follow, a like on Facebook, wherever it is that you're consuming this content. So you can come back for next week because next week I'm sharing more of my check ride tips. Last week I shared the ultimate check ride strategy. We're in this series called Mock Check Ride May and you don't want to miss a second of it. I can't wait to read your comments down below this video. Have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day and most importantly remember, the good pilot is always learning. Have a great day everybody. We'll see ya. Hey Missouri Nation, I'm back. One thing I forgot to mention. Hey, on May 31st, the last Tuesday of the month, I'm doing a huge open to the public mock check ride. Normally mock check rides are just for my online ground school members, but I'm opening it up to the public. Tuesday, May 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern time, right here on YouTube, right here on Facebook. There's an event in descriptions below for you so you can RSVP. I want to see you there. Add it to your calendars, hopefully on your iPhone. And maybe your iPhone has this cool new Emsray sticker. If not, we'll talk at Oshkosh on how to get one. Have a good one, everybody. See you May 31st, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll see y'all.